what's up? My name is Kabir Singh. I'm a voice actor, poet, and philosopher. You can find my work at kabirsvoice.com. Today, I want to talk about tips for voiceover live sessions. I do a lot of them, and the ability to collaborate with clients in real time, it really has never been more affordable, more efficient, and a few little things and uh, questions that I ask myself when communicating uh, with my client about live sessions that have really helped me run smoother sessions. So I want to share those with you guys today. So the first thing I would say is have a template of a few bullet point questions that you'd like to ask your clients. For me, some of those questions are um, have to do with just the business of the na- of the business, which could be, hey, what type of file format would you like? Hey, what, what are the invoicing instructions do you have? And I would address those in the initial email. It's just, it's great for efficiency and it's great for communication and it's great for tracking. So if you ever need to refer to something, it's easy to just track and refer back to it. Uh, the second thing I would say is have respect. Respect for the business, respect for the live session, and respect for the people on the live session. You won't know who these people are. They sometimes could be four, five, six, seven people on a live session and just you. All the pressure is on you. You have to sometimes lead and you have to sometimes follow. Meaning that goes into my third one. Allow yourself to be directed. Allow yourself to be directed. And with that is the fourth, which has become egoless. If you just remove a little bit of the ego and allow yourself to be directed, it takes you far. Now, there will be times where you need to lead a voiceover session because a client may not be familiar with the process. So then you bump up the ego in confidence with a smile and just lead, help them lead the session. But you have to be able to play both positions, the one with less ego and the one with enough ego to lead the session, to be able to follow and to be able to lead. So have your set of questions or in a template, have respect in the communicating process, respect for the people participating, become egoless, and then finally, allow yourself to be directed. These few tips have helped me really run efficient live recording sessions. And to add a little bonus to that, ask the client what what is their preference of connecting. Is it via Skype, Zoom, ISDN, IPDTL? Are they more uh, less more or less familiar with a certain platform, break it down to them in a simple way. And I like to address those things in my template because you'll learn in the voiceover business, you deal with many different levels. At least I'm learning that I deal with many different levels from clients that hire voice talent every day to clients that this is their first project. So lead and allow yourself to also follow. And these are the tips that hopefully will help you run a better live voiceover session. Again, my name is Kabir Singh. Check me out at kabirsvoice.com. Peace.